All right, guys, I killed one full gas tank and then I filled up one more time and then I killed about half that gas tank and I'm barely checking the oil now for the first time. I just cleaned the dipstick. So let's go ahead and check it together for the first time, shall we? Ooh, would you look at that? It's still burning oil. It's only burned about, say about like almost a full quart. So we're gonna go ahead and put the motor oil saver in and top it off with some more 5W40 liquid molly and see what happens. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the motor oil saver. Everything's ready to go. Engine's already warmed up. Dump the whole thing. It says that it doesn't need to be warm, that once you apply it, you just need to warm the engine up. But everyone that's done it on YouTube, they've all warmed their engine up ahead of time. So I would recommend warming it up ahead of time and then adding it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash it down with some 5W40. And then we'll go ahead and check the oil, see where it's at. All right, let's go ahead and check it. I just topped it off with some oil afterwards. I just cleaned the dipstick. Let's see if we're good. And boom, right up to the F. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run my engine for a little bit, probably go for a drive and see if that could, you know, kickstart the motor oil saver. I'll give you guys an update on my next gas tank fill up. I'll go ahead and check the oil. All right, we are back. So it has been another full tank of gas since the last time I put the motor oil saver along with the liquid Molly 5W40 inside the car. And I've come to some conclusions uh, when I did my refill. It did burn a decent amount of oil still, but I figured I need to give uh, the motor oil saver some time to get everywhere that it needs to to save oil. So I just topped it off and then I did another full gas tank. So I've done two gas tanks, two full gas tanks since I put the motor oil saver in. And now um, we're checking it again. Let's see how much oil it's burned. I just cleaned the dipstick, so let's see. Okay, so a little bit less, you know? So it's not, you know, 100% fixed, but it is a big improvement. And I did actually see that on the oil cap, it's actually kind of weird. It's like leaking oil. So if you see right there, it's kind of like, looks like dirty in there, like there's some oil. And then if you see on my oil filler cap, let's see if I can find it. I think it's right. Right there, you see all that black shit? I think oil's getting by in my oil filler cap. So I figured, you know, why not get a new one and see if that might also help as well. So I bought one. In case you guys want one for your car, this is the part number. Um, my model is the 2016 two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. So I know that this oil filler cap works for the two liter turbocharged engine and then for the 1.6 liter turbocharged engine but i don't think this works for the 2.4 liter naturally aspirated i don't think this fits that one um but in case you guys want it i found it off of ebay so if you look at it it is exactly the same thing pretty much as the one i have right now and it's brand new so i figured this has brand new seals you know, this should do better. And then if you look at the top, it looks exactly the same as the other one. So we're gonna change this out, see if that does anything. And then also on top of that, we're gonna go ahead and top it off again. And then we'll just, you know, wait again. Cause like I said, every oil change, I'm gonna do an engine flush. So every oil change, I'll put in another motor oil saver. And then I believe there's another product from them called Servitex. So we're gonna try that out see what that does so i'm gonna go ahead and top it off so never mind actually i am a complete dumbass there is a very small minute differences between the two but when i put it on it was loose it did not fit so do not do not buy that one for these engine models oh my god now i gotta go down to the kia dealership and fucking order it god damn it well all right learn from my mistake don't be a dumbass just go to the dealership to order it don't sometimes go on ebay but anyways, uh, I cleaned up the uh, original oil filler cap as well as I can. And I'm going to go ahead and put it back in. And then I did top off the oil. 
And then you see this one, even though it's kind of fucked up, like dirty, it doesn't shake at all. And this one, when it was on there, it was like loose. I was like, oh my God, I can't trust that, you know? But anyways, let's check the oil. It's up to the F, a little bit above. I, I don't give a shit at this point. Um, but anyways, yeah, so on to trying to fix this car slowly. And uh, I'll keep you guys up to date. Catch you next time. Peace.